besties we are getting into a self-care saturday reset heavy on the self-care because i am pulling myself from a slump it's been a little bit of a struggle for a while to pull myself from it but today is the day that i am taking control of my life again it took everything within me to get up and film this video and not to stay in my bed all day i've just been feeling a lot of emptiness and discontentment and disappointment and that can leave you discouraged and feeling helpless and i've shared in my last couple of videos how i've been struggling in my relationship with god and reading my word consistently and i know that that's exactly why i feel the way that i feel at this time so today i decided to stop feeling sorry for myself giving myself some grace and now getting back to my normal routine i'm basically just gonna pop in and out to narrate some of this video but i really just want you guys to enjoy the vibes and the music we will chat sporadically but i just want to let you guys know if any of you guys are going through a slump like this please know that you are not alone and it's okay to feel the feelings that you are feeling give yourself your little grace period and then move on things have definitely been getting a lot better lately and i have been picking up my word and i have been feeling a lot better but there are just some times where you just need to be gentle with yourself and today was one of those days for me so i'm gonna let you guys just enjoy this video and i'll check in with you guys later on. know me you guys know my genuine love for coffee and today I am treating myself to one of my favorite indulgent coffees which is this cookie butter iced latte it's literally nothing special but it's just a comfort for me and I'm taking this time to really just enjoy it coffee is a big part of my routine just because I genuinely just love that I get to slow down and really ease into my day and it's very necessary for me today and of course who doesn't love cookie butter so I'm gonna add just a little bit to my espresso and enjoy Enjoy my coffee I feel like I start to think better once I've had that first cup of coffee so just taking my time to really spoil myself and splurge a little bit
addition to getting back into the word of God, I also want to couple it with doing a 90 day devotional. And this one by T.D. Jakes called Woman Thou Art Healed and Whole, a 90 day devotional journey has really been helping me get my heart posture and my mindset back in alignment. Today is day five and it's titled Learn How to Heal Well. And the scripture it's pulled from is Luke 13, 12, and it reads, and when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. The healing journey portion of the devotional says no matter what you've suffered in the past, shame, abuse, bullying, harsh words, God is able to bring healing and wholeness. As you go through this healing process, do not try to cover up your wounds with a band-aid. This response is common for all people, especially those of faith. Sometimes as people of faith, we mistakenly assume that we should pretend away all of our problems rather than boldly acknowledging them and bringing them to the healer. We put up a spiritual front, all the while dying inside. Be honest with God about your hurt, your past, your rejection. Whatever area you need healing in, Jesus can truly and abundantly supply. One reason that people do not receive inner healing is because they hide information hoping it will just go away on its own. It won't. Remember, God reveals what he wants to heal. On my agenda today, I wanted to make sure that I tackled my kitchen and made sure to do some laundry. I do have actual work that I need to get done today, some filming and editing as well as administrative things. So I wanted to do laundry and get that out of the way. That way my towels will be ready by the time I need to shower later on this evening. And my laundry room in my new apartment is just this little pocket of peace because now I don't have to go down into a creepy basement. And I'm just so thankful that I have access to a washer and dryer in my unit so I'm putting it to good use and then I'm going to get myself ready for the day. My living room furniture definitely came in today and I should have been putting it up but I just couldn't commit to that so we're gonna sit on the floor and get some work done for a couple of hours I'm editing a meal prep and answering some emails scheduling meetings and you know just making sure that on the administrative end I am covered and that the second portion of my year is booked and busy <music> have basically seen me do my entire morning routine get myself together for the day get some work done and now it's time to start cleaning and really resetting my entire life we don't actually have to go grocery shopping today because our lovely sponsor green chef graciously sent me over a box full of meals that i can't wait to tell you guys about so let me just make it quick and get to the details thank you so much to green chef for sponsoring this portion of today's video green chef is a certified organic meal prep company that provides clean and 
delicious meals week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-proportioned or pre-measured premium ingredients. So if you are one that finds yourself a little bit challenged in the kitchen, they make it so that you can't mess up. Or if you have a busy lifestyle and you just can't commit to cooking every day, then Green Chef is for you. Honestly, Green Chef is for everyone. They are changing the meal kit subscription game by providing options for every lifestyle you can think of. So whether you are keto, paleo, vegan, gluten-free, Mediterranean, or if you live a fast and fit lifestyle, they've got something for you. With Green Chef, eating clean doesn't have to be boring. You can satisfy your cravings for exciting, flavorful meals made nutritious. As you guys know, I have been on a health and fitness journey and I'm still currently on that journey. And Green Chef has factored in just so seamlessly into my healthy eating habits and has even helped me create a clean eating routine. In general, Green Chef just makes it easy to eat clean, quality food that you can feel good about eating and serving to your loved ones. Their foods are not only delicious, but they're nutritious. And in a world where we are being pumped with processed foods and colors and unnecessary additives, Green Chef took the extra step to help limit processed ingredients and they don't use any artificial colors or sweeteners. So you know you're eating the real deal. Their nutritionist approved recipes are so convenient you don't have to worry about meal planning if you don't want to or go on grocery shopping. And like those can be daunting tasks. So if you struggle in those areas, this is probably the meal kit service for you. As you guys know that aside from being a full-time content creator, I also have a nine to five job. And there are just some times when I come home and I do not feel like cooking. If I haven't meal prepped for the week and there's no food in the house, the easier option would just be to go pick up fast food. But then when I remember that Green Chef has delivered, okay? delivered. They just come in and save the day because realistically when you're tired, nobody feels like cooking. It also helps that everything is already pre-proportioned. They provide you with step-by-step -step breakdowns and the overall process is short and to the point. One thing I can say about Green Chef in my personal experience is that they have introduced me to a lot of flavor combinations and texture combinations that I probably would not have thought to put together on my own. They bring a level of excitement and creativity when it comes to healthy eating. And they've definitely brought in my palate with the fun flavor combinations that they provide. Green Chef has helped me eat clean and live a healthier lifestyle without sacrificing flavor, which makes me actually want to take the initiative to continue to eat clean. If you guys are interested in checking out Green Chef, you guys can use my code RihannaJanice50 for 50% off and free shipping. You can go to greenchef.com for more details. I'm just gonna quickly show you the three recipe cards that they've sent me over for the week and I'll show you kind of like what the boxing looks like and then I'm gonna put all the stuff away and then I'm gonna get back to my cleaning. But okay, so the three recipes that they sent me are this salmon with caper sauce and then this white bean chicken chili and then also the creamy corn risotto with shrimp and bacon, which actually sounds so good. OMG, okay. This is what it looks like and then on the back, you can see here how they have the step-by-step -step breakdown of it. So really, you can't mess this up unless you can't read. And you know what? If you can't, that's your business. I'll just pray on it. But yeah, they even have pictures. So if you are a visual learner, you can just also look at that as well. I think that's so cool. All right, and then let me show you what else I got in the box because it wasn't just the card. Everything comes in these pre-packaged labeled brown bags. This is a salmon with caper sauce. This one is the white bean chicken chili. And then here is the creamy corn risotto with shrimp and bacon. And they do such a great job with packaging it too. Here is my shrimp salmon chicken breast this little pack of bacon it's so cute and that's it all the ingredients that i need are in these brown paper bags and it's literally just as easy as picking up your card picking up your bag your protein and going to town and if that's not like the ideal setup right there i don't know what it is thank you again so much to green chef for sponsoring this portion of today's video now back to the reset Okay, so the major thing that I needed to tackle in the kitchen today was unloading and loading my dishwasher. I am so truly blessed to have a dishwasher in my house. It is a game changer. And then also my stove has been looking a little funky since I've been cooking on it a lot recently. So I wanted to make sure that I gave it the TLC that it needed. And then wiping down my cabinets and counters is just a part of the drill. But this is all I really had to do cleaning wise for the day since like there's nothing else in my apartment at this time.
a few hours later, I ended up after cleaning, just lounging around, watching my favorite TV shows, taking a nap, the usual. But now I wanna get into some self-care and my new apartment has a bathtub and I loved being able to take baths. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my favorite Dr. Teal products and a little bit of Dr. Bonner, Bronner, whatever it's called. I'm gonna put that in there to make some bubbles and then I'm going to basically deconstruct myself. I'm going to take off my makeup, do a face mask. I was on the phone with my sis, which is why you see me laughing, but it's so good to just have faith-based community to just pour into you and uplift your spirit. So I was feeling really good by the end of the day, just a little bit tired, but overall today was a pretty good day and I was definitely looking forward just to being able to soak in the tub. One of my subscribers subscribers gifted me this candle when I was in my old place. I believe it was called Marie's Halos, I believe. And I love the candle so much, so I wanted to burn it in my new place. It just added to the relaxing atmosphere that I was trying to be in while taking my bath. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my bath and then carry on with the rest of my nightly routine. I'm not much of a tea person, but I've been dealing with a little bit of bloating lately, so I decided to make some detox tea with a little bit of honey. I ran out of lemon, and that was kind of a bummer, but it definitely got the job done. It was very relaxing and helped me sleep. I'm just gonna have my tea and then also do a little bit of Bible study. I came across a scripture in one of my previous devotionals that came from Psalm 27 verses 13 and 14, and it reads, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. And this honestly met me exactly where I am at this time because I have been so impatient and I'm trying to handle this season with grace. And I just like David want to remember that no matter what I'm going through, that I need to be confident in the Lord and his power and that I will see his goodness here on earth in my life very soon. So that is going to really conclude my evening. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Also be sure to turn on your post notifications so that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video. And until next time, babes, I will see you in my next. Mm -hmm.